Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, inshallah, we're going to continue uh, with the topic uh, one, measurement and uh, uncertainty. We're going to solve question number 41 uh, from the practice uh, questions. Now, the question says, in an investigation to measure the acceleration of free fall, a rod is suspended horizontally by two vertical strings. So here I have two vertical strings. They have equal length and there is a rod suspended horizontally by them. The strings are a distance D apart. Now the rod will start to oscillate back and forth. Okay, if, we, if it's displayed by small angle, and then released, simple harmonic motion take place in a horizontal plane. So horizontal, simple harmonic motion means it's not oscillate back and forth, keep oscillating back and forth. The theoretical prediction for the period of oscillation, the, pe the period, we're going to study it in, in um, uh, oscillation and wave, is uh, time it will take to complete one cycle or one oscillation. It has a simple T. So T equals C over D times square root of G. G is the free fall acceleration. G is the value of free fall acceleration. C is constant. Okay, D is the horizontal distance between the two springs. State the unit of this constant C. Always the unit from the formula. Now T is time. Time. So I need the unit for C. So C from this equation, I'm going to do cross multiplication. C equals T times D times square root of G. Period is time. So the unit for time is second. D is distance. It's our unit for distance is meter times. G It's acceleration. The unit of acceleration is meter per second square. All of them to the power half. Because the square root means the power to the power half. Now, this will equal S times M times M to the power half divided by S to the power two all to the power half. Half divided by half is one. So I will have S here and S here, they cancel out. M to the power one times M to the power half. Same, this we add the power. So it will be M to the power one plus half. And this will equal M to the power three over two. So the unit for of C is meter to the power three over two. Now, B. We have a student records the time for 20 oscillations of the rod. Explain how this procedure leads to a more precise measurement of the time for one oscillation. Now we studied before if when we repeat the oscillation, when we repeat the measurements many times and then we find the error or we find the average or the mean that will reduce the random error. So finding the average, finding the average or the mean, will reduce the random error. Or the error due to human, human errors. Now in one, in, exp in one experiment, D, the horizontal distance between the strings, the two strings was varied. The graph shows the blotted values of T in second versus one over D in meter, in one over meter, okay? So always when, when we write the the value 
we write the unit next to it. So this is one over D. One over meter is meter to the power negative one or, or one over meter. OK, error bars are negligibly small. That's why they didn't draw it here on the graph. Draw the line of best fit. Now, when we draw the line, a line, the line should at least pass two point two points will will if you join two points together, we you you will create a line. So when we when you draw a line, use a ruler. OK, and at least should be a straight line that pass through at least three points and go through the origin. <laughs> so since I don't have a ruler, I will try to draw a line that pass through at least three points and pass through the origin. But in the exam, don't ever draw it with your hand. Use a ruler. Now D. Suggest whether the data are consistent with the theoretical prediction. Now, what is the theoretical prediction? The equation that was given to us T equals C constant divided by D, the horizontal distance between the two strings, times square root of the free fall acceleration. Now, when they draw C over G, this is constant. These are constant, and they draw. T versus 1 over D. So this I can write it as T equals C over square root of G times 1 over D. Okay, this one, when they draw it, this is D, they draw D versus 1 over D. So this will represent Y axis. This, it's on X axis, and this value will represent the slope. So we got T directly proportional with one over D. Directly proportional with one over D, and we had a line that passed through the origin. E, the numerical value of the constant C in SI unit is 1.67 to determine the value of G. Determine the value of G. Now, I know the slope equals C divided by square root of G. So if I need G, I'm going to do cross multiplication or swap. So square root of G equals C divided by the slope. I need G, so I'm going to square both sides. So G will equal C over the slope square. What did I do? I squared both side to get rid of the square root. Now I need to find the slope. Slope is rise over run. So we'll go to the, the uh, graph here, this one, and we're going to choose two points, the line that pass through them. OK, so here I'm going to take this point and that point, the first and the last point. This one, it's five. And this one here, it's. Here I have one. One divided by I have one, two, three, four, five. I have ten squares, so each square, each square on the horizontal line would represent point one. Here I have four squares, so this point is one point four. For the vertical uh, axis, here I have the smallest scale is point five. Point five minus zero is point five divided by one, two, three, four, five squares. So point five divided by five will give us point one. So each one, each square here is point one. So if I go and read the value of this one here, it will be around 0.65. And the value of this point here, it's around 2.6. Okay. So right over run. Rise, it goes from 
2.6 minus minus 0 0.65, 2.6 minus 0.65, divided by run 5 minus 1.5, 1.4. 5.4. So the slope, let's write it down. The slope. The slope will be. 2.6 minus 0.65 divided by 5 minus 1.4. This will be 54. So I need the value of G. We say G is C over the slope square. C is 1.67 divided by 0.54, all of them to the power two. And this will be around 9.6. The unit for free fall acceleration is meter per second square, meter per second square. Okay, we're done with question 41.